Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So here I have another 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Visconti Opera Master and this is uh, a Goulet pens exclusive, long sold out, called the Luna. We have the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. We have a Visconti Ecstasy de Oud. We have a Visconti Daedalus. A Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. We have another Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Red Marble. We have a Visconti Blue Ripple. We have a Wild Ever Sharp, and this is the Deco Band Oversize in the Jade. We have another Wild Ever Sharp Deco Band Oversize in the Positano Blue. And we have a Visconti Rotary. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is a long sold out pen. Um, this was a Goulet Pens exclusive. And you'll see here it says... I can get that on camera 107 of and that is 188 so this is a 188 exclusive pen run and this is uh, strange enough I wanted originally the Visconti Daedalus and it was way too expensive because if you look closely it has this sort of silver dust in the body here and I decided at the time that I would settle for this Opera Master because I really had a thing uh, at that moment in time, a few years ago, for the Visconti Opera Masters. I do still like them, but I, I typically uh, tend to go with a lot of Homo Sapiens now. And I decided I would buy this one, and this was a Goulet Pens exclusive, and I'm really glad that they did this. Uh, this is a, a really, really... Uh, lovely pen uh, and I like this sort of uh, resin that's got this impregnated sort of dust inside it uh, it really does look the part there and you can just see the amount of sparkles that you get on that pen so this is an opera master and you'll see here that this does actually have a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib and this was going through my uh, stub nib days. I still do like stub nibs, but I tend to not write with them as much as uh, I used to. And it's just because I've gravitated a little bit more towards medium and finer nibs. But I do still like them now and again. Uh, the next pen I have inked up this week as well is this beauty. And it's, again, another Visconti Opera Master. It's a golden dust and... This one is even more limited edition. This is number three of 60. Uh, but this has this beautiful smoky-like effect going on in that body there. And the cap, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I was actually after the Visconti Opera Master Tobacco. And I'd had uh, a number of uh, times been looking for it and could never find one. And then... I came across this one and I decided, you know what, I will just buy this one because I do like the look of it. And I had never seen this model before. And then a few weeks later, after the pen had arrived, a tobacco, a used version of the Opera Master Tobacco was for sale. And at that point, I decided I'm not going to buy it. I like this pen a lot. And as much as I do like the look of the Visconti Opera Master Tobacco, I think I prefer this one more. So uh, I have um, this one inked up with me this week as well. And you'll see here that this has a 23 cap palladium nib. It's a fine nib on there. And you can see in the size of my hand, it really is a good size. Uh, I just like the Opera Masters. They are a little bit weighty, a little bit long, a little bit girthy. But that is just my preference for pens a lot of the time. The next pen I have inked up is this beauty, and this is the Visconti Ecstasy de Oud, and I do love this pen a lot. Again, this has, if you look at the body here on the black, 
Uh, it does have some gold dust in the body and also in the cap here. And this it really is a beautiful uh, sort of pen. I, I like it a lot. And this has a 23 cap palladium nib and it is a medium nib. And I want to say that this nib writes exquisitely well. It really does write well. And you can see that there in the size of my hand. And it just feels right. You can, if you want to, you can post the cap, but you don't really want to. Uh, it's very back weighted. Um, the idea with this pen, if you haven't seen it before, if you haven't seen me show this on video, is the blind cap here unscrews. You unscrew this here, and then basically what you do is you fill this up with perfume, and you have a perfume dabber. You put a little bit of um, cotton fluff or lint in here, and you dab it in just to scent your pen. Uh, I haven't done this still. I, I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I, I just haven't done it. Um, maybe I will one day. Uh, maybe I will. But I, I do like it. Uh, th the problem with that, though, is that you do get a little push-pull converter. So, or piston, I, I guess it's really called. Uh, but I like it. I, I love this pen. Um, I do need to refill it very frequently. Uh, but I, I love how this pen writes. And I picked this up for a steal. Uh, this is an expensive pen. And I got it for... I, I want to say about the tenth of the price, probably. Um, it's uh, it's a really, really good uh, price I got for that pen. So I have that one inked up this week as well. I also have this one, and this is, the, as I mentioned earlier, this is the Visconti Daedalus, and, and uh, I do like this pen a lot, and uh, I do have to thank uh, my friend Tony for forcing me to get this pen and I will say force because it was almost sort of my arm behind my back type forcing uh he bought one of these and he absolutely loved it and I realized I was missing out I managed to pick this up from Michael at Manuscript Pens uh this is the UK distributor um this was I want to say this was just pre-covid actually this was March 2020 and I absolutely love this pen. It's a really, really good writing pen. And you'll see here it has a medium 23 cap palladium nib. But you can see in the size of my hand, it's really good. You can post the cap if you want to. Again, it's back weighted because of the silver. But I, I like this. I like it a lot. Uh, I like my watermark as well that I have. So, so this for me is actually a really nice size and weight of pen. The next pen I have inked up is this one, and it's the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. This is the Lapis Lazuli Stone. So this is a marble stone uh, with solid silver. I know it's a gold color. It's plated. It's vermeil. Uh, but this is really nice, very heavy. Uh, this one has the new style 18 karat gold medium nib on it. Uh, I just, I love the weight of these pens. These are not light pens these are around 70 80 grams in weight i think these are heavy pens but i like them uh maybe it's not quite 80 or maybe it's a little bit lower than that maybe 60 or 70 but th this is it's certainly it's a lot heavier than the the visconti opera masters so i have that pen inked up uh this week as well uh writing with that and then I have another Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. And this one is the red marble. And uh, this is just a uh, aged silver look. Uh, it's, again, solid silver. So it really is a heavy pen. Um, these, uh, these two and the uh, Magnifico here are Powervax along with the Opera Masters. Uh, this one is obviously just a piston fill, um, plunger fill. Uh, but this this is a Powervac, and again, I love this uh, pen. I love how it writes. There's a 23 cap palladium medium nib there, but that is a beautiful writing nib. And it really makes me want to pick up now the green serpentine or serpentine version. And 
I, I don't know. I may do. Uh, I don't know. It's these pens are not cheap, and it's whether or not I want to put that money into that pen or whether or not I want to put it into another pen. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm not going to keep buying a huge amount of pens, so I do need to watch what I'm buying, and like anybody does, uh, there is only a certain amount of money, and it's uh, as much as I'd like the Green Serpentine, uh, just to add it to the collection to, at the moment, complete the set. There would be three instead of two pens. Uh, I believe there's a newer version coming out this year as well, so <laughs> there will be a fourth one to collect, and I don't normally do collections. I, I do have a lot of similar pens. Like I'll have quite a few Opera Masters. I'll have quite a few Homo Sapiens. Uh, I'll have quite a few maybe ASC Bologna Extras. But I don't, I'm not a completionist. I don't have to complete a set. So I will just buy what speaks to me. And as much as I like the Serpentine, it's a lot of money. And I could just think of a number of other pens I could get, maybe even cheaper, that. I feel would probably be better in the collection for me anyway. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I will get the Serpentine at some point. The next pen inked up is this one. And this is the Visconti Blue Ripple. It's a beautiful pen. I love the contrast of the uh, white cracked ice and also this metallic or pearlescent blue that's going on here. And it's difficult to actually capture this on camera but if you look at the lighter areas here where the studio lights are shining you'll see there's like a blue hue there uh, and this is the Visconti Blue Ripple and it is 900 there so it's 875 of 900. Uh, this really is a beautiful pen and the nib on here is the old style 18 karat gold nib and I got that with a medium nib. Uh, it's a power vac like uh, most of these uh, pens here, or the Visconti's. Uh, it is beautiful. It really is beautiful. So uh, I do have that one inked up this week as well. I, I love that pattern. Uh, it's just, for me, it's a beautiful pen. And again, that's another pen I have to blame Tony for. So uh, I, <laughs> I will... Uh, I will get my, my own back on him. I am sure of that. The next pen I have inked up is the Awal Eversharp. And this is a Deco Band oversized in the jade. I love this jade material. Uh, it's I've got it inked up with Barmine Aqua Lagoon. I honestly think this is the perfect pairing of that. Uh, it's a beautiful pen. You can just see... The chatoyance going on there in that that cap and also the body here it's just it's like a load of water it really is um this has uh a large uh, number eight size nib uh, the wild ever sharp nib uh, it's a medium nib uh, these are large pens uh, both in length and in girth and also in weight as well they're they're they are more heavier pens uh, and that doesn't bother me. I do like my heavy pens. So uh, for me, that's, that's another one I have inked up this week as well. And then we have this gorgeous pen. And this is, again, another Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize. This is in the Positano Blue. And just look at that blue. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe it's a dark blue. But I kind of think when that light hits it, there's a... Like a hint of purple or lavender or violet coming across that pen. Uh, you have these dark areas and then you have that beautiful light there. And again, it's just, it's mesmerizing. It's, to me, that looks a little bit like a galaxy. It's, it's a really, really nice looking pen. And again, this has a number eight size nib, while ever sharp nib, and it's a medium nib. It's inked up with a blue ink. Um, and, uh, that is laser etching, so that will clean off. It's just uh, when you have uh, uh, nib creep, and um, when the ink starts getting onto the nib, it will uh, sort of coat the laser etched area and make it look a little bit blue. But when you go to flush the pen out and rinse the nib off, it's perfectly fine. Or at least it has been for me. So I have that pen uh, inked up, and I'll see if I can just line that back up again. 
There you go. You can line that pattern up and you line it up there as well. So I have that pen inked up with me uh, this week as well. And then the last pen is this one. And uh, I had this one inked up last week. It's a Visconti Rotary. Uh, it's a commemorative pen. You can see there the Rotary Club and Rotary International. And it was a 100-year anniversary from 1905 to 2005. And uh, this pen has seen a, a few better days because you'll see here that the gold plating is a little bit flaked a little bit damaged but i got it mostly for this nib i knew i got it for what was uh, lower than a price of a replacement nib so i thought if i buy this pen and it really is bad uh, i saw some photos of it and it kind of looked i could kind of see some plating defect and there was some mention in the ebay listing but I thought, worst case scenario, I can uh, use that nib and put it on another pen. So that's a uh, Visconti 23 cap Palladium. Actually, no, it's not 23 cap. It's 18 cap. I thought it was 23 cap. It's the old style 18 cap uh, nib, and it's a fine nib there. And this, in the size of my hand, is just really good. So I do like uh, the size of this, the weight, um, the... The filling mechanism is the old style Gen 1, so you can see it here. So you, it is a power vac, uh, but you do have to unscrew the body to get at it. Uh, but I love this uh, lapis lazuli material, or celluloid. It really, this lapis blue here is, is really, really nice. So it is celluloid, it's not marble. So I have that one inked up with me this week as well. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen inked up this week is the Visconti Opera Master Luna. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see that this is a stub nib, so it is quite a wide nib. So this is the Visconti. Opera Master Luna, and it is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Visconti Blue, which I think is a really underestimated blue ink. It's an ink that I do like a lot, and I, I think, honestly, uh, I should ink that up a lot more. The next pen is the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a fine nib, but it's still quite a wet nib. But this is a dry ink, so it's not as wet as it probably could be if I put another ink in here. So this is the Visconti Opera Master, and it's a Golden Dust, and this is a fine 23 cap Palladium nib, and then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku. And it's uh, Sakushi, or Horse's Tail. The next pen is the Visconti Ecstasy de Oud. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, I do love this nib. Uh, this has a little bit of flex or bounce to it. And it's not a flex nib, but it, it just allows me to express my writing a little bit more. So this is the Visconti ecstasy and it's de oud and it is a medium and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is diamine and it's majestic purple but that for me is a, it really is my favorite purple ink. It's an ink that I always gravitate to. 
the next pen is the Visconti, and this is the Daedalus. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this I do find uh, a little bit more on the drier side of writing, this nib. Actually, I've just realized I've uh, locked off the power vac. Right, so this is the Visconti Daedalus. And this is a medium and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And the ink in here again is Visconti blue, which again is a blue ink that I do like, but you'll start to see a difference between these two because they're because of the, the nib wetness and the nib width, you'll see quite a bit of difference. The next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is another medium nib. And I do find, I don't know if you could hear that, but it does sing a little bit. I don't normally like singing nibs, but I don't mind it in this one. This is the Visconti. And it's the Medici Il Magnifico. And it's the Lapis uh, Lazuli. And it's a medium. And it's the newer 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. And then the ink in here is Diamine Lavender which has become a nice favorite color of mine. The next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, and this is in the red marble. So we'll do a, another ink swatch here. And although it's red, uh, I've gone with a pink ink. And I do like this ink a lot. Uh, and I tend to ink it up in this pen a lot as well. So this is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. And it is a medium and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And the ink in here is uh, Pelican. Edelstein and it's Star Ruby and it's just an ink that I like uh, I find it flows very well in this pen so it's just an ink that I just keep gravitating back to when inking that pen up the next pen is the Visconti Blue Ripple so we'll do an ink swatch here now this is a wet nib, and it's also quite a thick ink as well. Uh, and it can sheen a little bit, this ink. So this is the Visconti. And it's the Blue Ripple. Uh, and it is a uh, medium. And it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Diamine, just have to think about this one, Diamine and it's uh, Imperial Blue. But that's a, a little bit of a darker blue ink. I typically don't normally go this dark on blue inks. I typically, this the Visconti blue would be probably the darkest I would normally go to. I don't normally like blue blacks, uh, but I am actually liking this Diamine Imperial Blue lately. So I have that one inked up this week. The next pen is the Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize in the Jade. So we're doing ink swatch here. Now this is a super wet nib. And you probably can see that here on this ink swatch. It's just laying down a pool of ink. So this is the Wal Eversharp 
deco band oversize Oops. in the jade and it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine aqua lagoon which i honestly think that when that ink dries it will match this pen really really well the next pen is the Wild Eversharp Decoband Oversize in the Positano Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, this is another dark blue ink. And I've been trying some dark blues lately. And I'm trying to get out of this rut of only liking lighter blues. So this is a Wild Eversharp. Deco band oversize and it's in the Positano. It's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And I have to say, this ink actually flows really well. And this is Diamine and it's Azza Blue. But for me, that that is a good combination. And I'm getting used to these darker blue inks now a little bit more. So uh, maybe I will start using them a little bit more. And then the last pen is the Visconti Rotary. We'll do an ink swatch. And this is one of the lighter blue inks that I like a lot. And I, I just, I like these sort of, lighter turquoisey uh cerulean blue type uh colors a lot so this is the visconti rotary uh, it is a fine and it's i just want to double check this is 18 cat gold nib i know i did actually in the comparison early on say 23 cat palladium nib to start with uh, i just want to double check that and then the ink in here is aurora and Klinger, and it's Blue Mare. And for me, that is a beautiful light blue ink. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Visconti Opera Master Luna in a 1.3 millimeter 23 cap palladium stub nib inked up with Visconti Blue. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pilot of Zuki Tsukushi. We have a Visconti Ecstasy de Oud in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have a Visconti Daedalus in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Blue. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Lavender. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in a medium 23 count Palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby. We have a Visconti Blue Ripple in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Imperial Blue. We have a Wild Eversharp Decoband Oversized in the Jade in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. We have a Wild Eversharp Decoband Oversized in the Positano in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine as a blue. And then last but not least, we have the Visconti Rotary in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Roar and Klinger Blue Mare. So there you have it, that's my currently ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.